Hey guys, Snorkla here, and is this how your face cam looks like? What if I told you that you can improve your lighting drastically and look like a pro in under 1,000 pesos? Interesado ka ba? It will look something like this. This is what I can do with a budget of less than 1,000 pesos to improve my lighting situation. If you want to know how I did this, watch this video. Let's get started. Now, I was actually thinking of delaying the creation of this video once I've received my better lights. In fact, I've already ordered a pair of Elgato key lights to really improve the lighting situation here in my setup. But I realized that I think it's more important for me to show you what a budget of less than 4,000 pesos can achieve. In fact, the video that you're watching right now and the face cam that you see in my streams, I actually was able to produce that for a budget of less than 4,000 pesos. And if you watch this video, you might even just have to spend 1,000 pesos uh, just to buy a lamp and a bulb. You might even just need to buy an extra bulb if you already have a spare lamp lying around. So if you watch this video, I'm gonna teach you how to improve your lighting drastically at a very budget-friendly price. Now as usual, I'm gonna teach you the theory behind my recommendations. Just like my last video, I really want to teach you the theory and the technical side of what I'm going to recommend for you to do so that you can actually understand the kind of the quote-unquote science behind it so that with any tool and any lighting equipment that you have whether it's budget whether it's just a lamp or expensive stuff like uh, the Elgato key light you can learn how to maximize it and it's gonna be very important for you once you actually get into more complex content creation down the line so let's get started on the theory side of it all right so ang ginawa ko is that I turned off all of the lights except the first light which I'll talk about in a bit to illustrate to you the effect that these lights um, will have on your picture now when we're talking about lights there are actually five types of lights that you need to know and understand the first one is actually called obviously the main light now the main light is the primary light source you will be using and it will be illuminating the front of your subject and that subject for the purposes of this video is myself if you can see dito sa glasses ko i do have a main light mounted uh, on top of the cell phone that i'm using to record this video now the main light actually actually serves to really be the foundation of all of the lights that you are going to be using. It's illuminating me. It's pointed in the same direction that the lens of the camera that I'm using so that it actually illuminates everything else. Because if, for example, I only use the light or the natural light or, for example, this uh, the ceiling light that I've had, there will be so much shadows and a lot of the detail will be lost. So, ayan, this is how it actually looks like without the main light. I basically just turned on the ceiling light uh, that I have for my game room so I turned off the ceiling light and went back to my main light did you guys notice a difference Grabe, I'm sure you guys did there's such a huge huge difference since my light is behind me basically my body was casting a shadow in front of me and it was basically darkening myself in front of the camera and the camera actually was missing out a lot of the details because it was not being illuminated now you can see the impact of just having one light like a main light shining in front of you and the difference that it makes in terms of your uh, face quality right now if you have a face cam you know that your audience your viewers whoever's watching your stream will be able to enjoy your beauty in all its glory okay diba? now the second type of light that we will be talking about is something that you call the fill light the fill light naman is a light that you use to soften the shadows right now this picture actually looks good right um, but it's overly dramatic there are shadows on my face meron akong, um, dark places here and it's really focusing on my face which is good right and at the end of the day sometimes uh, I'll show you the result sometimes you will prefer this one over having a fill light but what the fill light does is actually soften the shadows that you have in your face and actually makes the picture a bit more natural let me show you how it looks like I will turn on the fill light there you go this is how it looks like when you have a main light illuminating your subject directly in front of himself or herself and a fill light that's off center and separate from the camera filling in the shadows and making the picture more soft what do you guys think of this and can you see a difference I promise you you can see a huge difference now I look more natural instead of me looking like a yung parang old detective noir type setting na medyo dark diba? direct harsh light and then my shadows dito everything is a bit more illuminated 
that's the effect that the fill light does. Now, I know that there are going to be some people uh, who are a bit philosopho and who know lighting more than me. And, you know, I'm not really an expert on lighting. I only know the things that are useful for my stream and the things that will help the production quality look significantly better. But, you know, my fill light is actually not very ideal. I'll show you later. But it's really just a lamp with a round bulb. And it's I think it's a 10 watt bulb. So it's not ideal because the diffusion, it's very much diffused. It's not just lighting up my profile or the subject, which is me, but it's also kind of illuminating the room around me. If you have a proper fill light, it will actually just mostly illuminate the subject um, and have a bit of an impact on the background, but not as much as this. Another one thing that I wanted to point out is that uh, I do keep the settings of the camera on manual. So the camera is not adjusting for exposure or ISO. It's the same settings lang, whether I turn uh, off and turn on whatever light so mga photography experts dyan, please don't crucify me tama naman yung methodology ko dito okay now we finished talking about the first two types of lights the main light and the fill light and we will be focusing on these lights for the configuration section of this video later on now before we continue i noticed that in my past video 90 percent of you who watched it are either not following me on facebook or not subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're enjoying the content that I put out and want to see more of the educational and practical and even fun content that I put out, please do consider following me at my Facebook page at fb.gg slash norcagaming and also my YouTube channel which I'll link down below. Right now on YouTube, I only have 41 subscribers at the time of filming and I need 100 subscribers man lang to be able to create a custom URL and it will help me a lot and it will be a big, big help and that's the best way you can support my content creation if you could follow me on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That being said, tama ng pagpa-plug, let's continue the video. The third type of light is a light called the hair light. Now, this light is usually placed behind you and is focused directly on your hair. You usually use something called barn door. So I'm not sure if you've seen it, but if there's a light and there are flaps on it, right? There's um, one on each side to focus the light. That's used. Something also called the snoot is also used. On circular lights, it looks like a telescope that's attached to a light so that it focuses the beam of light. Now, what it does is that when it's illuminating your hair, it gives you an effect of, of separation from the background. Background. So the subject now looks a bit more separated in the background and it gives the image an overall look of depth. The fourth light is a light called the background light and instead of the light being directly shown in front of the subject, it is now being shown at the back. Now this one actually makes your background look a bit lighter. So if you have a black background, it's gonna look, you know, quite gray. You also need to use this for the green screen because if you're using a green screen, you need to eliminate the shadow. So it doesn't interfere with the, you know, chroma keying. The background light is used for the green screen to remove that. Now, the final light is what you call the kicker light. And the kicker light is something like a combination of the fill light and the hair light. And it's usually placed on the opposite side of the hair light and it will also give you even more separation from the background unfortunately again i don't have three other lights to show you the combination of these three things but what i'll do is to turn on the background or the ceiling light to show you what effect it might look like when you have you know all five lights on at the same time this is how it looks like when I've turned on all the lights in the room. So I have a main light right there. I have the fill light off camera and I also have the ceiling light turned on. Now earlier, uh, it looked like I was really dark, right? And, and I looked, uh, there was a lot of detail being lost in terms of my features. But as you can see, since I have all of the lights on and this one is kind of simulating the background light as well as the hair light, it looks more natural, right? And the difference between the earlier image which I'll quickly pop up here, is that it looks more natural. It This one, the main light and the fill light, is removing the shadows that my body is causing as a result from the background light. Now, I'm sure you're curious, Boss Norkla, ano bang gagawin ko so that I can achieve better lighting in my streams? Now, I will be introducing the tech that we will use. Okay, so the first light that you're seeing right now is a very basic desk lamp. 
This lamp, I believe I got this from Lazada a couple of years ago and it will cost between 400 to 800 pesos depending on the seller. And the light bulb here is actually a small bulb. I believe it's actually a uh, Firefly uh, 10 watt bulb, if I'm not mistaken. And this one really just costs like, you know, 150. So in total, this light just costs you 500 something pesos. Let's test it out as a main light. And let's assume that you only have this as your light for the stream. Let's see what it will look like. This is how it looks like with the lamp that I have mounted here on my desk. And this is how it's looking like when I'm looking into the camera. For sure, this one still looks better than just the ceiling light, diba? Right? It's actually much better than just having the ceiling light on and this one causing shadows. Now, as you can see, there's a bit of a problem here because I can't mount it directly on top of the cell phone and the light is off center. There are a bit of shadows, right, uh, on my right that, that you can actually see. But in terms of the subject illumination, you can still see me, right? And this is how I look like when I game. Um, I probably will just need to turn a bit, right? Or maybe position the camera a bit straight, uh, move it a bit here. And then, you know, this is actually a pretty reasonable picture. And that's what you can achieve with this one. So this is our 1,000 peso uh, budget lighting. Guys, if you have very little budget for your lighting setup, I would recommend this. The problem lang dito is that you need to make sure that you choose a kind of a dim bulb, dimmer bulb. Um, probably 5 watts to 10 watts because this can get really bright. The second problem here is that it, it's not diffused. So the lighting is actually bouncing off my face and it's pretty pretty harsh uh, as you can see compared to my LED light that has a, a bit of a diffuser. So, but you know, this one is a big improvement compared to my earlier, my earlier shot where I'm just using the ceiling light uh, to power my lighting. I'll show you how it looks like when I turn on the ceiling light. Now the ceiling light is turned on and as you can see, it's a much cleaner and more balanced picture. You've got the main light right here. It's negating the shadows that uh, my body's causing because it's, uh, the light is behind me and it, the picture actually looks pretty, pretty reasonable. I mean, if you use this on stream, then uh, it, it actually makes you look professional. So it, it's actually pretty good. The last drawback that I will point out is that just having a lamp um, without any features like dimming, um, RGB, uh, adjusting the color temperature, is that you're pretty much stuck with the lighting setup that you have. Of course, you can change the bulb to a, a warmer bulb, the mga medyo yellow. When I say warmer, it, it will look a bit yellow. But since it's this is a bulb with there, there's no diffusion and you can't control the brightness, it will make everything look yellow, right? So that's the thing. That's the thing that you will be you will need to contend with. Now, here, I think it's very important for you to adjust your camera settings as well. Um, you'll probably need to reduce exposure and your ISO um, so that you won't look washed out because if you just maybe keep it on your auto settings, your webcam or the cell phone or whatever camera that you're using, unless it's a really high quality camera, you will really look washed out. So those are kind of the things to remember. See, for just less than 1,000 pesos, maybe 500 to 900 pesos, you already have a pretty good lighting setup. You look way more professional than just using your ceiling light. One more thing that I want to show you real quick is how I mounted the lamp on my desk. Let's switch to another view right now. So here it is guys. This is my setup. This is actually how I look like uh, or what I see when I'm filming. This is my keyboard. Um, that's my um, Huawei Novo 5T that I use as a camera. That's my main light which I'll talk about in a bit. And this is how I've mounted the, uh, the lamp. So it's sitting on top of two boxes that I have lying around the house. And it's pretty much just beside the tripod. Um, and basically, that's how I mounted it. Now, the second option, the a bit more expensive one, but it's still under 4,000 pesos. This one is the Yomnova YN300 Air 2. Now, this is a real, real steal. And I've been canvassing uh, before I bought this for probably two to three weeks. Its key features are, first of all, it's dimmable. It's very important. You can control how dim or how bright it is. And it's very useful depending on how close or how far you actually mount this light. 
The second one is it has options for RGB and it's super super important because for example maybe if you have a lamp in front of you you can add a bit more uh, pizzazz to the picture maybe you want a purple you want to have a, some purple uh, effect somewhere and you'll shine it uh, on a different place etc etc that's super super cool now finally you can control it through a remote and everything that you can do, you can turn it on, uh, you can uh, change the brightness, you can shift to RGB using this remote. And the cool thing is, if you have similar lights, and if you bought multiple Yongnuo YN300 Airs and some other compatible products in the Yongnuo brand, you can control this because this one also has a channel setting. You can define which channel this remote uh, sends to, so you can control multiple devices through just one remote so it's super high value i was canvassing and uh, when i was looking at features like this for example with a remote dimmable bicolor meaning white yellow plus rgb um the closest options that i saw um from other brands were six thousand pesos that's super expensive it's super expensive and the six thousand peso options while they do have a remote um you can only do dimming and also the bicolor, meaning changing from white light to warm light. So this is a huge steal. By the way, I would recommend that you get this light from Juan Gadget. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but I was so impressed about how fast they delivered the items to me. I've purchased, you know, three, uh, three items from them. The Yongnuo, I bought it, and three days later, it came here, and I bought it in around May. Uh, or earlier May, late April, in the middle of ECQ. So grab it, they really committed to providing great customer service when I chat them, they answer really quickly. Again, I'm not sponsored, but I just really wanna shout out small businesses that are really doing really well and providing a great service. And again, third time na to, I'm not sponsored, but Juan Gadget, if you see this, baka <laughs> All right, so I'll show you um, what the Yongnuo YN300 Air 2 looks like as my main light. There you go. Here it is. I'm sure this scene looks familiar to you because this actually was uh, my setup when I was showing you about the main light. And it's mounted on top of my cell phone. Um, and you can see that it's much better than just my, you know, 500, 600 lamp that I prop on the desk because it's mounted on top of the cell phone. Um, and second, it's more diffused. And third, I can control the dimming settings uh, much more finely because of the remote. And finally, there's no shadows behind me. So it, it actually looks super, super, super clean. Now, if you do have a bit of a budget, I would recommend that you get this light because, you know, you can see it's really nice. Um, I'll even show you some of the settings real time. Um, I'll even increase the warmth, right? So now it looks a bit yellow, a bit more yellow. Um, I'll even switch to RGB, so let's try that. Um, so this is the yellow one, this is the red, this is the purple. Damn, it's a light show here. Um, yeah, and it looks really, really cool. So I'm gonna switch back to the um, non-RGB. Sulit talaga tong lamp na to. I really suggest that you get it. Um, I'd also want to show you how I'm mounting it on my setup. So again, this is my setup, uh, and this is how it's mounted. Uh, it's mounted to through this tripod. Uh, my phone is actually using a, uh, a cell phone mount here. It does have a cold shoe here where, where it's where, where it's attached and that's how you configure it. It's generally, if you have a, a cell phone holder na maganda, this one is the Yulanzi ST02. It will fit quite nicely. It also has some adjustments here. So there's some articulation. You can bend the light uh, back and forth depending on what angle um, that you prefer. Tada! This is the original setup that we had. I have the main light, the Yongnuo, and the desk lamp that I prop off camera. And I really prefer this image over just having a main light because it looks more and more natural. And this is basically the uh, combination option. Around 4,000 pesos, you can already look like a pro. Now, as for my final thoughts, I do hope that you'll choose to invest in a professional video light. My personal pick is the Yongnuo YN300 Air 2, just because of all the features that I've mentioned earlier in this video, and pair it along with the desk lamp. And you saw naman kanina that uh, you can use a simple desk lamp to improve your lighting setup, put it in front of you, just and combine it with the usual lights that you have in your room, and Guys, you don't have an excuse to have bad lighting anymore. You may have an excuse kung kunwari kandila lang gamit niyo sa bahay, but bro, you shouldn't even be streaming. Magpagawa mo na ng electrical sa bahay niyo uh, para magkakuryente kayo. You know, but that's it. 
I hope this video was as helpful to you as my previous video. If you haven't seen that video, um, please check it out. I would also like you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please click that subscribe button. Click that bell button because 90% of you haven't subscribed yet. Also, if you want to see me in action and see me while I stream, I stream a lot of Minecraft, uh, Valorant, and other very interesting games because I'm a variety streamer. I stream at fb.gg slash Gaming. I stream every Tuesdays and Thursday from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. And on Saturdays, I play with my community from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Thank you guys for watching. This is Norkla signing off. Mm.